hello. Uh, I'm Dr. X, a doctor working here today. Uh, may I confirm your name and age, please? Hi, doctor. My name is Angelina Zolian. I am 65 years. Okay. Uh, how may I address you? You can call me Angelina. Okay, Mrs. Angelina. Uh, today we are going to discuss about your health issues. Is that all right? Okay, doctor. Okay, during our conversation, I might take this down some notes, which will be strictly confidential. Is it okay? Okay, doctor. Okay, well, uh, can you please tell me in your own term words what have brought you here today? Uh, this is uh, for the last one month. I have some pain on my back, on the middle of my back. Uh, that is uh, somewhat, uh, initially, I didn't got any injury or anything. Um, uh, one day morning, I noticed that I have some pain on my back. I thought that it was due to my back uh, sleeping posture, so I didn't pay attention to it. But the pain is increasing day by day, and uh, even now it has got uh, so much severe that I even uh, cannot move properly due to this pain. First, I visited my GP. He thought that this was my uh, somewhat uh, called my bad posture heavy so he uh, advised some ibuprofen tablet but that is not helping me mass and even now i cannot i told you that i cannot move properly and especially at night the pain is sometimes so severe that i cannot even sleep at night so i visited again my gp and he thought that uh, it might be related to my uh, family problem because my mother had uh, some problem with her bone minerals and for that uh, she also had a fracture on his spine and basically also thinks that i might have that condition okay well uh we will try our level best to find out what's troubling you well uh, may i know that uh, uh where, where did this pain come along suddenly or gradually Suddenly, doctor, but it is increasing gradually. It's increasing gradually. Okay. And, uh, well, uh, can you please tell that uh, for how long did it, did it persist for the first time? After the start, it usually persists almost all the time. All the time. Okay. Uh, well, uh, do you think that is there any in, uh, a relation with your workload that if you work, is it increases or decreases, something like that? Yes, doctor. If I uh, do anything, uh, do any work, then uh, this also increases the pain. Okay. Well, what happens when you take rest or when you sleep at night? I after waking up, that, uh, you... I, I cannot uh, sleep at night properly due to this pain. Okay. Okay. Uh, have you ever felt that whether there is any morning jamming present or not? A pain present all the time, doctor. Even in the okay, morning. Okay. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, can you please describe the pain for me? Pain is some dull, just aching pain. Dull pain, okay. Uh, well, uh, is it just in your back or does it spread to any other place, any no. other space? Just your back, okay. And, uh, okay. And, uh, well, can you tell me that, uh, do you have any pain in your legs? No. Okay, that's all right. Some and uh, can you please... doctor. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, please. Um, I, I think some weakness on my legs. Some weakness on your legs. Okay. And uh, do you uh, have some funny sensation? Yes, doctor. In your leg? Or in... Yes, yeah, doctor. Yeah. That is when I use commode, I, I feel those words. Okay. Any funny sensation in your private parts? Can you feel? No. Okay. That's all right. And uh, any numbness in your legs or in that area? Sometimes. Okay. And uh, can you please tell me that uh, what? How we, how about your water work? It's fine, doctor. Okay. And your bowel movement? I am little constipated, doctor. Uh, I usually that's for last uh, maybe my last for three to four months. Sometimes I pass my bowel every two days or three days. This wasn't like before because 
Uh, previously, I passed my bar usually every day. Okay, and now you don't pass. Yes, doctor. For how long? Uh, for three to four months. Three to four months. Yes. Okay, that's all right. Uh, and uh, well, uh, may I know that how severe is the pain? If I say say that zero is no pain at all, and ten is the highest pain that you can feel, then how will you grade it? Uh, I would tell it. Uh, it is uh, six to seven, doctor. It is not so much pain, but it is pleasant always and boring and uh, make me uh, yeah, keep yeah. me uh, keep me awake at night. That is very must okay. be. Okay. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I can get it. Well, uh, can you please tell me that? Uh, do you, uh, well? Uh, do you have any? Uh, did you have any trauma in your back recently? Not just trauma, just I some things that I can only remember that I uh, when I was climbing down on stairs, I slept. I I, I missed one stair just at that time. I okay. thought that there is some uneasy. I felt somewhat uneasy. Nothing more significant. Okay. Okay. Well. Well. When did that occur? About uh, one and a half months back. One and a half months back. Okay, that's all right. Uh, well, uh, did you feel any pain, back pain at that time? No. Okay, that's all right. Uh, well, uh, did, did you uh, have any raised temperature recently? No. Okay, any, uh, uh, any chest infection? No. Okay, um, I mean, I'm going to ask you some other questions. Uh, do you have any headache? No. Okay. Any changes in your vision? No. Okay. Uh, any any um, soreness in your mouth? No. Any joint pain? Other joint pain than your back pain? No. Any rashes in your skin? No. Okay. Well, uh, can may, can you tell me that? Do you have any weather preferences recently? No. No. Okay. Any changes in your weight? Uh, I lost a little bit of weight, doctor. I lost about uh, three kg over the last two months. Okay, is it intentional or unintentional? Unintentional, doctor. Totally unintentional. I told okay. you, I, okay. I feel constipated, so I yeah. usually take. I try to take less food. Okay, okay, that maybe. Okay, and uh, okay, that's I get it, and uh, okay. And uh, do, can you please tell me that do you have any racing and pacing of your heart? No. Okay. Uh, any chest pain? Sometimes I feel some pain on my chest, on my right side of my chest for a couple of months. Okay. Uh, can you please uh, describe the pain for me? This is uh, nothing significant, nothing serious, some dull pain. Okay, okay, that's all right. And uh, okay, and uh, is it better or worse with anything? Can you describe? Some coughing or sneezing, sometimes bending forward makes it worse. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And uh, well, uh, do you have any shortness of breath? Not uh, usually, but uh, when I do any work, I feel somewhat shortness of breath. Uh, for how long? It is also for last uh, three or four months. Last three or four months. Well, uh, can you please tell me that do you have any difficulty in your hearing? No. Okay. And uh, any tightness in your chest? No. Okay. Any uh, uh, noisy chest? No. Okay. Uh, well, uh, may I ask you some questions? Uh, do you have any, uh, any other uh, known uh, previous uh, medical condition? Uh, yes, doctor. I had uh, diagnosed with a breast cancer about uh, five years ago. And after that, I needed a surgery for that. And uh, they cut it, cut it down uh, to remove the tumor. And after that, uh, I needed uh, some medication and also some uh, radiotherapy. Okay, when was that? Five when years. was the last five course years. of drug? Uh, okay, and you have been free. 
uh, doctor said that there is no problem. I was on regular follow up, but for last three years, I didn't feel any problem. So I didn't visit the doctor regularly. Okay, so for the last three years, you haven't visited the doctor. Am mm. I right? Yes. Well, you told that you had uh, some breast cancer. Well, can you feel that? Is there any lump and bump again in your uh, breast region? I'm sorry to ask. It's a private question, but can no. you please, have you no, 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 no. Okay, okay, that's all right. And uh, well, um, do you take any other medication? You told that you were prescribed some ibuprofen. Uh, no. Uh, no, okay, okay. Uh, can, can you please tell me that uh, how many uh, drugs you usually take ibuprofen regularly? How many? Uh, two tablets, doctor. One in the morning and one in the evening. Okay, okay. Are you allergic to any medication? No. Any herbal medication? No. Any over-the-counter medication? No. Yes, I'm sorry to ask you another question. That Do you take any uh, medication by your blood channels? No, never. Okay, that's all right. And uh, and uh, may, may I ask that you told that uh, your mother was a patient of also some bone disease. Uh, do you have any other significant family history? No. Any long uh, known disease conditions? No. Okay. And uh, may I ask you some personal questions again? Uh, may I do you smoke? Yes, doctor. How many sticks for how long? About 10 sticks per day for about 40 years. Okay. Well, actually, it's a very uh, dangerous thing and uh, it can add to your uh, troubles. And uh, I think it's better if you quit it uh, and I can refer you to the smoking cessation clinic. Is that all right? Okay, doctor. Uh, do you drink alcohol? No. Okay. And uh, uh, may I ask you uh, that what do you do for a living? Uh, I was a school teacher, but now I am really tired. Okay. Uh, may I know? Who, okay. okay. May, may I know whom do you live with? Uh, living with my husband and my children. Well, uh, where do you live? In an apartment or in a house? It's an apartment. Okay. Uh, do you have to use stairs? Yes, doctor. So I, I usually uh, don't visit the doctor yeah, yeah, frequently yeah. because I have to use the stairs. There is no lead. Okay. Okay. I get it. And uh, actually we will. Uh, okay. And is there any railing beside the stairs or is it open? Really? Okay. Uh, however, we will uh, inv inform the social services regarding this issue so that they can take the, some safety measures. Uh, well, uh, may I know that uh, have has there been any recent travel history to any other country? No. Uh, do you have any known history of a TB contact? Have you known? Any? No. Okay. And uh, I'm very, very sorry to ask that. Uh, well, um, that uh, may I ask that uh, it's a very personal question, but uh, may I ask that uh, do you have any uh, any other uh, uh, <laughs> casual relationships? Doctor Neva. Okay, okay. I'm very, very sorry to ask uh, Mrs. Angelina. Okay. And uh, may I know uh, what your concerns are, Mrs. Angelina? Doctor, I am having this type of uh, bone problem that my mother had. Well, uh, at this moment, we will have to examine you properly and uh, assess you. And later, after that, we can. Uh, I'll get to you again and explain you more properly. Uh, however, as long as I have taken the history, I think that there might be some possible some possibilities. Uh, so one is that I'm sorry to say that uh, you have some history of weight loss, and also you uh, haven't been under constant supervision after your uh, chemo and radiotherapy. Okay, so there is a chance, however, that uh, that this cancer has come again. Okay or this cancer has not gone away completely. So, and sometimes this cancer can go to the bones. So this can be a possibility. I cannot uh, rule it out totally. And again, uh, that uh, since you have uh, told that you just uh, went down one to two steps and then you, you felt some discomfort and also that you have been a smoker for a long time and having some night pain, I think that it's also possible that you might be having some problems with your bone minerals. I cannot rule that also. But however, we will uh, involve the uh, joint doctor and also 
we will involve uh, our consultant and they will run some uh, blood tests and also some scanning tests and they can also which can also involve some mineral test okay of your bones so after uh, doing all these tests i think uh, uh, they will be able to uh, map out a better plan for you are you getting me yes doctor do you have any more concerns or questions do i need admission well, uh, I think uh, I will uh, inform my consultant and uh, I think uh, they will decide upon it. But uh, we, might, they, we might decide to, to keep you under observation until we run some tests. Uh, but we will inform the uh, consultant and, and uh, again convey his opinion to you. Are you getting me? Okay, doctor. Any more concerns? No, thank you. Okay, thank you. So what are the differentials do you have? Well, I think it's a mechanical bone pain, uh, mechanical back pain. The most likely cause, uh, there can be actually some probabilities. I think uh, it can be due to osteoporosis and also it can be due to uh, due to his metastasis from his previous uh, breast cancer uh, since she has not been under regular follow up i think these are the main duties here what do you mean by mechanical back pain well i think uh, it's it's more after doing uh, some work this pain and this doesn't go away after taking some rest so I think it's mechanical pain. Can you tell me the difference between the mechanical and pathological back pain? Uh, well, I'm, I'm uh, sorry. To, I cannot tell it properly. Okay, no problem. So how will you investigate her? Well, actually, I have to uh, at first do some routine blood tests like CBC, ESR, CRP. Then I will have to go for serum electrolyte creatinine, then uh, some her, her thyroid profile, uh, liver function, and then I at, at the beginning I will have to do uh, X-ray, uh, or plain X-ray back, uh, specifically lumbosacral spine. And uh, after consulting with the rheumatologist, uh, we might uh, take a decision whether MRI of uh, her lumbosacral spine should be done or not. And also uh, we might go for uh, a bone mineral density scan, BMD scanning. Okay. What blood minerals do you like to assess? Well, here I would like to do calcium, calcium, serum phosphate and alkaline phosphate level. Okay. Suppose everything is raised, serum alkaline phosphate, serum calcium, serum phosphate. What could be the diagnosis at that point? All raised. Yes. Uh, I think it can be metastasis. Okay. And uh, how will you manage her if it is a case of metastatic bone disease? Okay, actually, uh, we will have to form a multidisciplinary team in this case with the rheumatologist, uh, orthopedic surgeon, uh, physiotherapist, occupational health service. No, sorry, not occupational health service, social services. Uh, they will actually, at first, uh, uh, check out the test results and then. Uh, Actually, we might, they might go on. If it is uh, metastatic, I think they might go on for some uh, bone protecting medication like alendronic acid or zolendronic acid like that. And also calcium uh, regarding, uh, after getting the test results, some calcium, vitamin D. And also uh, the oncologist, we have to re refer to the oncologist to find out whether our uh, cancer is uh, back again or whether uh, it's causing the problem. Then uh, the oncologist might uh, go to the go to that cancer treatment and also 
whatever the oncologist will do that is their decision not your decision so you that involve that, uh, you think that involvement of rheumatologist is necessary what will be the role of rheumatologist in this case well uh, uh i'm not sure i think i think orthopedic surgeon will also be important okay. so involvement of the orthopedic surgeon and uh, involvement of the oncologist that would be enough yes initially i think okay 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 in history taking uh i want to uh, find some notes that you know everything was fine okay so uh, for back pain you should have asked more precisely that uh, can you show me the site or can you tell me the exactly what is the site of your pain where do you feel the pain yeah you said that uh, yeah. she needs lumbosacral spine it's but actually this patient had pain on his thoracic region you haven't asked it properly mm on mm. onset that was fine before okay. happened we put the onset uh, yeah. so I, actually, I actually i actually misheard i actually heard that lower back or something like that I actually i just couldn't remember that's why i actually yeah. even I actually, actually, lower back what do you mean by lower back what is the site can you show me it can be coccyx okay. it can be lumbar okay. it can be yeah 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 okay so I, that was a wrong ring for my from my side yes uh, and character of the spine that was fine radiation i cannot remember if you have asked yeah yeah i, I asked radiation you told no radiation but then i then i went whether any leg pain or involvement so associated symptoms uh, for pain associated any signs of inflammation that is have you noticed any lumps or any swelling any uh raised temperature mm -hmm. or what the area mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay Mm. redness over the area mm. and with the associated neurological problem of his limbs sensory and motor yeah, I... yes you, you have asked and also sensory and also uh, mm. motor, motor symptoms of her yeah. private parts of bowel bladder yeah you yeah. asked that was well and uh, for her associated symptoms it can be uh, due to uh, trauma any history of trauma and for mm. uh, metastasis, you will find it later that what are the signs of metastasis. And associated with mm. uh, weight loss, anorexia, nausea, vomiting. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I, I asked those, I think. Yes, yes, I have asked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, for time, timing, timing is very mm. important because nighttime pain, is also yeah a, yeah actually you yourself asked your, these are the alarming symptoms night pain thoracic pain yeah. uh, weight loss yeah, yeah. so i think these are uh, yes. very important yes. neurological involvement yes. yeah yeah patient has all those yeah yeah eliciting factor I, I i as far as i remember you haven't asked about that have you noticed anything that makes your pain worse or better yeah yeah i, I asked i asked anything makes worse or better okay, i cannot remember yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I asked that whether uh, you any work. Movement forward bending and uh, sometimes coughing mm. makes mm. this pain worse. Mm. I can remember mm. that you have uh, asked about the numbing, what makes your numbing worse or better. Actually, asked uh, not in this way. I asked that whether any rest or any work makes it feel worse or better. I think I used that language, but I should have asked like this any movement forward bending or coughing. I, I, I should have asked in this way. Okay, and severity you have asked uh, that how much severe and severity is still okay. And associated symptoms have to say, uh, and also systemic symptoms was fine. I'm not remember if you have asked about any calf. This patient had, yeah, 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 yes, I think I cannot remember. Oh, okay, okay, I am my am I might then might have just so did he have calf? Yes, slice, I have had some calf. Conference is free. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Otherwise, and in the family history, and uh, this is for these patients, uh, pre ord of also wasn't important because for osteoporosis, pre ord is an important factor. At was what is 
हर्पी और डिस्टॉप ओके एंड आल्सो डाइटरी हैबिट हम्म या या आ अदरवाइज एवरीथिंग वाज फाइन या अबाउट एवरीथिंग एल्स sometimes mm -hmm. the sunlight exposure that is also an important factor okay okay, okay. yeah okay. well uh, what was the case actually okay yeah uh, it is a uh, metastatic bone fracture metastatic bone fracture and uh, you actually uh, actually uh, there was some differences between my opinion and your opinion what should have i told is this mechanical bone pain back pain or what yeah. mechanical pain is something like that usually go away with taking rest there is no signs of inflammation and uh, mm. some, uh, uh, pressure or uh, some strenuous activity brings that pain mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for this lady there was uh, resting pain also and uh, movement always where, where there is a pathological fracture always movement will bring the pain that is not a mechanical that pain Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. What always movement? Movement will uh, bring pain on any fracture bone. It is not a mechanical pain. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Everything was fine. Okay. Thank you. And uh, okay. and okay. Okay. So okay. Thank you.